my name is JC Franco. I am part of FSA uh, 2018. Um, I am currently a grad student at UCLA, or going to be soon to be a grad student at UCLA. And what drew me to the FSA was it, it touched, for me, it touched uh, on a topic that maybe isn't current to architectural pedagogy. Um, it's somewhat avoided, um, and which is to question architectural pedagogy. It, it, it is essential for all disciplines to at some point uh, look at the state that they're in uh, and, and look beyond it uh, r rather, than, uh, rather than accept the norms that it, it lives under. And so uh, for me, FSA, with the prompt that was provided, it was at the very least a very lightweight structure, a lightweight framework for questions to, to grow organically from a very diverse group. Um, I learned a little bit about the FSA the year before, from the year before, and it just seemed like a really good um, thing to partake this year. The FSA has been, so far, it's been phenomenal. Um, an extremely deep amount of dialogue has gone on uh, between a diverse, uh, from a very diverse group, and, and that's, that's extremely exciting. Uh, extremely exciting to be a part of um, that everybody's experience whether very new or uh, is still relevant and fresh just as somebody who's probably been in the profession or the discipline or, or even in a, in, a, in a completely different dif a discipline um, everybody's word it, it, it has some value and I think that's something that's drowned out um, a lot of times in in architecture school, uh, which is my background, when when the leaders uh, and and quite frankly participants of FSA that were starting up this year, uh, they specifically laid out a, a light framework, which is something I referenced. Um, this this light framework is, I think, uh, absolutely necessary. It should, should not be something that's superimposing. It shouldn't be something that's also completely knocked down. There needs to be some sense of structure, um, but structure for the sake of uh, adapting to what the room is. Um, rarely was FSA ever all present um, in terms of the 40 plus participants. Um, and so the dynamic of shifting between different voices from day to day, workshop to workshop, it, it was always fluid and the structure always adapt, a lot for that adaptability. And, and that's super crucial. Um, it should, I doubt that FSA would be as successful as it is to me because um, if the structure were any different, if the structure were completely dissolved or intended to be dissolved or, or if it was a really rigid structure, um, we, were, we were left in a really great position the way the school was laid out.